We're here at Red Spring in Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area and we're going to try to take a look at the amphipods, spring snails, and other macroinvertebrates that inhabit the spring. My name's Corey Lang. I'm the wildlife biologist for the Bureau of Land Management. So what I'm doing right now is I am sifting the stream looking for amphipods. So there are two amphipods moving around in the sifter right now that I just pulled out of the spring. It's believed that there are numerous undescribed species that occur throughout Nevada. And this species um, is believed to be undescribed right now. These are basically small freshwater shrimp. You can see they're just three to four millimeters long. They are really good for the environment because they provide a food source for numerous species. Um, and they are detritivores, so they eat a lot of dead vegetation that is in these springs and keep the springs clean. I've only been finding amphipods in springs that have hot, fairly high water quality and have moving water. This spring has really high water quality um, based on the presence of spring snails, which are really require high water quality. And the spring source is coming out of this little cave or adit back here. Um, and it's coming straight out of the ground. A lot of the springs out here in the desert come from aquifers that are charged over hundreds to thousands of years and the water coming out has been filtered through miles and miles of rock and sediment. And so the water quality is very high when it comes to, to the surface. So right now I just found a Physa snail. There's two species of snail that inhabit this spring, this Physa snail, and then we also have the really rare spring mountain spring snail. Here are some spring snails. They fit on the tip of a pin. So as you can see, these snails are incredibly tiny. They're very, very small. They're in the genus Pergulopsis. This is Pergulopsis decani. Like I said, found in only six springs in the Spring Mountains and nowhere else in the world. And this spring is actually the type locality for the species. So this is what all other populations of the species are based off of for morphology and genetics. So this is a planarian. Um, also known as a nematode or a flatworm. It looks very similar to a leech, but it's actually not even really that closely related to leeches. We don't really know what species of nematodes we have down here. It's likely that this is an either undescribed or very rare species of planarian. The tadpoles you see here are of the Baja California tree frog. What is fascinating to me is that this is just one tiny spring in the Mojave Desert, but it has an entire ecosystem of aquatic creatures, and each species has adapted to survive in this environment. <laughs> 